As deep calls into deep like the sound of a waterfall, all your waves and billows have blown over me. There's so many people that are disenfranchised on the outskirts of society. They're in the deep places of life. This prayer is for them. Save me, O oh my God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. So many times we're born into a situation where there's so much brokenness or we make choices in our lives that breaks us. It breaks our hearts, it breaks other people's hearts and it just puts us in a corner. But you know, those corners are the corners where God can be found. God can be found in the deepest places and crevices of our souls where we're broken. Jesus is there. He went to the highways and the byways to rescue the lost sheep, and he will come and rescue you. He is faithful, his love is unconditional, and he will come looking for you. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from those who hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood water overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up. And let not the pit shut its mouth on me. Hear me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. Turn me according to the multitude of your tender mercies, and do not hide your face from your servant. For I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw me near to your soul, and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You know my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Repro reproach has taken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. All struck wonder at the mention of your name. Jesus, your name is power, the living one. No matter how bad we've messed up, He'll take us back. I'm gonna go get my stuff on, get in the water. God bless you guys. See you soon. Bye. Okay, I'm going in to see Jesus in the deep. Here we go. Here's our captain of our ship. Hi there. He's been wonderful all day. And his co captain. Where all the people are is where the Jesus of the deep is. So the Lord bless me as I go in the name of Jesus. Hey, Anna. So we're going to go in and we're going to find Jesus in the deep. Praise God. So, so I'm going in the water now. God bless you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles and my life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I'm like a man who has no strength, adrift among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave whom you remember no more and who are cut off from your, your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness in the depths. Your wrath lies heavily upon me and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put away my acquaintances far from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up and I cannot get out. My eye wastes away because of affliction. Lord, 
I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But you, but to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I have been afflicted and ready to die from my youth. I suffer your terrors. I am distraught. Your fierce wrath has gone over me. Your terrors have cut me off. They came around me all day long like water. They engulfed me all together. Loved one and friend you have put far from me and my acquaintances into darkness. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the fish's belly. And he said, I cried out to the Lord because of my afflictions, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the floods surrounded me. All your billows and your waves passed over me. Then I said, I have been cast out of your sight, O Lord. Yet I will look again toward your holy temple. The water surrounded me even to my soul. The deep closed around me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. I went down to the moorings of the mountain. The earth with its bars closed behind me forever. Yet you have brought me my, up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Those who regard worthless idols forsaken, forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. So the Lord spoke to the fish, and it vomited Jonah into dry land. Oh, amazing. I just shout, grace, grace. Grace, 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 grace. Found Jesus in the deep. That was an amazing, awe-inspiring experience. <sighs> Getting back was tough. But getting there was really easy. Okay, friends, found Jesus in the deep. He's right over there. See where that buoy is? Let's see, the buoy. That's his Jesus statue. Right over here, our captain was amazing. He told us exactly what it was, and he took us right next to it. So we didn't have to swim far, about 25 feet. And it, it's right there. So we're done here. But that was an amazing experience. I tell you, when Satikan came over, Satika had been praying the way here, and I'd been napping. I went with God on the first one, but this one, boy, God was just present. I tell you, we've been driving around this nation praying, and that was one of the highlights. Here's my hair all wet, but God, thank you, Lord. I thank you. And you know, it really has so much meaning. As a former public defender, I've worked with drug addicts and prostitutes and hookers and molested children and sexually violent predators and murderers, people identified as serial killers, future serial killers and sexually violent predators. I'm telling you, they are in the deep. They are in the deep, in the deep crevices of life where they just missed out on God's best for them. They got stuck in the crevices. All these broken people, molested kids, kids who were prostituted for money. And, uh, and they became, and they became, some of them became um, bipolar and others were diagnosed to be per, um, future serial killers and sexually violent, violent predators and, and also uh, arsonists. And I can tell you that my heart would break and I would cry. But it was like, you know, manifesting Jesus in the deep, going in the deep places of the world. Where people are stuck in the abyss of life, in the darkness of the abyss, with strongholds. He did. Don't worry about the But Jesus is there. Jesus is there. He's in the deep. He's in the abyss. He never leaves anyone out. He doesn't say that a person who's a sexually violent predator isn't good enough for me. He doesn't say a molested child isn't good enough for me. He doesn't say a sex addict isn't good for me. He doesn't say a prostitute isn't good enough for me. He says, I died for everyone. Dead for 
you know, it's kind of tough going out to the Jesus of the deep today, but I just knew I needed to go. Because Jesus in the deep and the abyss is the same Jesus that loves every perfect person and every imperfect person because we're all imperfect. And he will go to the deep for you. God bless you. He loves you. And if you're one of those people, as, as a monster, I can tell you that's exactly what I experienced in my life. And he came in the deep for me. He came in the deep for me. And he'll come in the deep for you. Let me pray for you. Father, I just pray right now that the Jesus, Jesus, I know you're in the deep places, in the crevices, in the abyss. And I pray you would go and rescue every single lost sheep, Lord, that's in the crevice and in the abyss of life, in the darkness, alone. But Jesus, you are there. And I pray you would rescue every single one of them. And they would feel your love and your sanctification. You would restore their innocence and their purity and their wholeness and their self-worth. That they would love you and love themselves for who you created them to be, God. Because no matter who it is, they were made in the image of God. They were made in the image of the Father. And you died for them. I pray for salvation and deliverance for every single one of them, Father God. Every single one of us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray you, they would get filled with the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you for bringing us out here and making this happen. Jesus, you are a God of the deep. And I thank you that salvation is available in the deep for every broken person in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So God is saying, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden. And I will give you rest, take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And you will find rest for your souls. That's a word for every person in the deep who's been broken, abused, beaten, addicted to porn, addicted to child porn, addicted as a child molester, as a pervert. Gosh, man. Jesus loves you as a future serial killer, a sexual violent predator. God loves you. And he's in the deep for you. He's in the abyss. So call out to him. And if you want to know Jesus Christ, you want to pray with us, please contact us through our website. We'll pray for you and we'll lay hands and heal and bring healing for your soul and your spirit and shoo away those demons that torment you. So God bless you. We love you. You are not judged. Come home to the Father. You're all prodigal sons. And God loves you. God bless everyone. I'm sick checking out from Florida Florida Keys, the Key Largo. Jesus in the deep is what we just did. And, and God really man showed up and showed off. Let's you talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>